All right, guys, let's get started. So originally I wanted this like to be out outside, um, but it's been like raining and so it's like super soggy and muddy out. And so that just didn't like work out the way I planned it, but that's okay. Um, so today I kind of like want to talk to you about stuff that I have been loving for picnics. So I have a two-year-old, obviously I'm going to take her on quite a few picnics this spring and summer. We love to be outside. It's starting to be, you know, good weather in most of the country. I know it's still snowing and kind of, you know, yuckies in some part, but, um, it, for the most part, it's starting to get nice and warm and summery and springy and just beautiful weather. So I wanted to just share a few of uh, my favorite Vera shop sustainable options um, for, you know, eating outdoors, dining al fresco. Um, so let's just hop right in. I want to say like the first part of um, eating outdoors is obviously sun protection. If you're not going to be under the shade, um, you need to like be protecting your face, your skin, at all times. Um, so that is where Bruna, I think it's how it's pronounced, Bruna and Co. come in. And I found this brand. Obviously, I found all this stuff on Bear Shop, but I found this brand on Bear Shop and I am obsessed. Like, look at this adorable little hat. It's so cute. Let me, I just washed my hair because I got back from the gym, but let me just take it down so I can show you. Like, look at how cute this is. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so imagine like my hair is actually done. Um, but like, this is so cute. Um, I'm wearing it in like the picture for this live. Um, so you can see, or I have a picture wearing it on my Vera Shop feed. So if you want to see it there too, but I'm just like, and it doesn't like obstruct your view. Like you could still see. It's just so cute. Um, and so these are um, like made and they help support artisan com communities in Indonesia. So I love that the company gives back. Um, just so cute. They do have tons of different options. This company makes um, clothes. They make handbags. They make tons of different stuff and everything is just so stinking cute. Um, let me just put my hair back up really quick. Otherwise, it's going to be just crazy. Um, but yeah, so they make clothes. They make um, all different kinds of hats. I linked a couple here so I can like show you. Um, they do have tons of like fun and funky colors. But if like that's not your thing, they do have so many cute um, neutral options. So let's just go through them really fast. So I thought this one was really cute. This was a jute straw hat. Um, it has like more of a, like a structured brim to it. So this one's really, really cute. I also saw, if you like, um, a little bit bigger of a hat. This one's also a jute straw hat, and it's like a fuller brim. Um, it looks a lot more structured than mine, too. That is the one thing that I did love about this one is it's um, not very structured, and it's, like, more floppy and fun and just the color, but I also love all these options that I'm showing you as well. Um, and then... The last one I wanted to show you is one that I definitely want to get next. It's the wide brim jute straw hat and it has like a little tie and it's just so fun. I think it's um, been in like on trend for quite a few years now. Um, like I believe it was Jacquemus did like the giant like huge hat. Um, but I love this one. This one's like a totally wearable take on that trend like you could wear this on vacation you could wear this out running errands at the farmer's market like I could see this hat being worn so many different places in so many different ways um so I just I love this wide brim straw hat with a tie I just think it's so cute so if you do not like color and you're more of a neutral person then they have tons of options for you if you're more of a colorful person and want to you know stay away from the neutrals or you just love fun pops of color they have tons of options um like I said they have dresses and bags too and everything is just so cute like I'm so glad I found this brand because everything is just so fun and um a little whimsical and just really really adorable. Um, things that you could wear easily that you don't have to be wearing for a certain occasion. Um, so I love that about this brand. And then of course also that 
it does give back and is handmade and all these other things. Um, but I think that even if you had all those things, if the things are not, if you're buying things are not functional, it's, you know, so it's kind of a double, um, good thing. They're functional, wearable pieces, and they're giving back and going to good causes and ethically made and sourced and all that good stuff. So, um, that is, I think the biggest part of eating outside is making sure your sun, your skin is protected from the sun. Um, because if not, you are not going to be enjoying life if you're turning into a lobster and super sunburned. So, um, and then of course the next thing that you need is a good blanket. Um, so my husband had never had a Mexican blanket before. And if you haven't, you need one. They are amazing. So, um, I'm from California originally. I live in the South now, but Mexican blankets, I think we probably had like 30 of them when I was growing up. They are just the most amazing thing. Um, they're really durable. They are not super soft. So it's like not a blanket that you really want to like cuddle up on the couch with, but it's the perfect like beach blanket or take it to the park or sit outside with it. If it gets a little bit dirty or, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just kind of like one of those blankets, like the blanket that you keep in the trunk of your car for whatever reason. Um, that is what a Mexican blanket is. And I love them. Like if you have, um, sports events that you're going to this summer or, um, you know, whatever it may be, your dog, keep it in the back seat to cover the seats for your dog. It's just so many uses because these blankets are so incredibly durable. Um, I love them. So this is from the Laguna beach, um, textile company. And it says if Founded by a former cabana boy, we aim to bring classic California beach style and premium resort quality to every home and beach. So um, I definitely do agree with that. These are definitely a very, very good quality. They are all made in Mexico. So you're getting authentic Mexican blankets. And I'm telling you guys, if you have never had a Mexican blanket, you need one. You will not regret, regret it. They just, they're so handy. There are so many uses for them. They come in tons of different, um, colors and just, uh, I don't know. You just need this blanket. Um, it's also great. Like, let's say we have a fire pit in our backyard. This is great that you could just kind of wrap around you, keep you warm. If it gets a little chilly, like I said, this isn't necessarily a blanket that you're going to be wanting to snuggle up on the couch with because it can they can be a little bit scratchy, but if you're just, you know, using it at the beach, in the backyard, at the park, wherever. I promise you will be happy to have it. And I love that they're not like so thick or so fluffy um, because they really do fold down quite small. Um, so you can see this is like a really large blanket. So I am um, like five, five and it's taller than me. So, um, it's definitely a big blanket. You're going to fit a lot of people on it. If you're using it as a beach blanket or picnic blanket, um, and like I said, it does fold down pretty small. So like you could totally carry this and it's like not a big deal. Um, I will show you later. I have like a bag that I got and this fits like beautifully inside the bag. So, um, I'll show you guys that when I present the bag, but you need a Mexican blanket. If you've never had one, never tried one, I promise it's a game changer. It's life changing. I love it. Um, and let's just, you know what, go into the bag. So, for a picnic, we always need a good picnic basket or bag. I saw this one and I had to have it. It's a nice, just oversized bag. Nice and huge with a more structured bottom. Um, so this one is from the brand Carissa and I kept this on that way. I could like remember to tell you guys, but Carissa provides high quality handmade goods that are socially and environmentally responsible. Purchasing any of our unique one of kind handcrafted products supports and benefits artisans in low income communities. Fair wages ensure that education, healthcare, and new possibilities are available to these communities. So I absolutely love that. I love that it's handmade. So it's, um, like a jute, um, style, uh, handle, um, and then like a woven, um, body. And then inside it's lined with just a nice black fabric. You do have the leather patch here with a zippered pocket as well as, um, 
two smaller pockets here on the side to stick your phone or you know whatever in um but this bag does hold tons of stuff so I could totally see you taking this you know on a picnic to the beach to the farmer's market really anywhere but if you took this on a picnic this could fit literally everything that you need for your picnic inside of it um and it would just be perfect so like I said I would show you the Mexican blanket in this bag and so here's the Mexican blanket like I said it folds down really really small and into the bag it goes so just gonna put that in the bottom and you still have like tons of room in this bag for whatever you need for your picnic or like I said if you're going to the beach or wherever you're going um so that's why I do love those Mexican blankets because they just fold down so tiny and compact and they don't take up a lot of, they don't take up a lot of space excuse me um, so yes, this is a fabulous bag. It fits so much like the Mexican blanket stops here. So you still have all of this space for whatever else you want to take, um, with you on the go. So I love that. Um, but I did want to share a couple other bags from that, the Carissa brand, just because they have so many really, really cute ones. Um, so this one is the, uh, Dora jute tote bag. This one's a little bit more square instead of the rounder shape of this one. Um, and this Dora uh, toe is smaller than the one that I just presented to you. So if you're looking for something just a tad bit smaller, that one would be a great option. If you are looking for like an actual basket basket for taking to the beach, the park, wherever, then I think this one is a beautiful option. Um, this is called the Savar picnic basket. It's woven. I love that it's not like too, the um, sides are not too high. It looks like it has a really beautiful handle. Um, and sometimes uh, I don't always like to have picnic baskets that like completely close like a traditional basket. I think this is a fun modern take on that. Uh, it would also be really great to take to a farmer's market. You could kind of just like put everything in there, all your produce and everything that you buy at the farmer's market into this um, basket. So I think this is a wonderful market basket or picnic basket, multi-use. Um, you could use it in your home to store things like store blankets when uh, you're not using it. So just a very wonderful multi-use piece. And <clears throat> excuse me, like I was saying earlier, the Carissa brand um, gives back to low income communities. So you know that you're purchasing from a brand that is really doing something. Um, so I also really love that as well. Okay, so let's go on to some really cute plates. So it looks like they're sold out right now. Um, hold on, sorry, you guys. Okay, um, actually, these ones are not sold out. So I didn't even open them yet because I wanted to open them with you guys. But if you are going uh, to a are on a picnic. Um, I think that these are really good, a really good option. So these are bamboo melamine plates. They're from the brand Shiralia. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but they are bamboo, cornstarch, and melamine. So I didn't know that they added cornstarch, but that's actually pretty cool. Um, they are BPA and phthalate free. Sorry, I always have like the hardest time with that word. Um, and they are dishwasher safe. So I love that. I thought the patterns were just so fun. So it's a multi-pack. So the first one is this like checkered plaid. You get a super cute little cheetah print. A fun leaf print. So this is like more of an olive tone on the cream. And then uh, a really, really pretty floral. So I love that they're all um like different but they are they all have you know the same tone like the fit tone family so they're not too mishmashed looking um but I definitely think that these are great to take on a picnic um you can easily um you know just wipe them off and then put them back in your basket or your bag whatever wash them when you get home if you don't want to do disposable stuff um, so these are a great option. They also do come in a smaller set, which is the one that's sold out right now. Um, but they are more of an appetizer size. So they are smaller than these. So if you want something a little bit um, more portable, um, otherwise these are great to use in the backyard for barbecues or 
honestly, just as your everyday dishware. I mean, melamine is super, super sturdy. Um, and so you don't have to worry about anything happening to them. You can use them in the dishwasher. So it's, they're very simple and easy to use. Um, but I love melamine dishware. It's really affordable um, for four plates. I mean, for 30 bucks for the smaller ones, $25 for four. I mean, that's really affordable for a set of dishware. Okay. And then the last thing that I wanted to share is obviously we want to take our reusable bottles when we are going into public spaces so that way we're not, you know, using trash. Even when we're not in public spaces, obviously we want to use re reusable, but you know, if a trash can isn't always available, um, we don't want to be holding on to like a water bottle or whatever all day long. Um, and you know, so this is nice to, um, have a reusable option. So this is actually a brew bottle. I thought this was really cool and you can either brew a uh, coffee or tea and I am a huge coffee person. I will, um, drink coffee at every single opportunity I get. Um, I just love it so much. Um, and I thought this was really fun. So it kind of sets like this and you put your coffee and then you, of course, you just do a pour over method and it brews right into the bottle. Um, and then you can either take this out or leave it in whichever you prefer and close it back up and you have, um, your, um, drinking spout and there you go. So you can use this for water or for tea. Um, I'm sure that even if you wanted to use it like for fruit, you could definitely like puree some fruit and put it in here and you'd have like a, um, like fruit infused water. That'd be really good. Um, but for coffee, it's extremely easy to use for tea. It's extremely easy to use. Um, it does just come with this package here. So like, as you can see, they just do the pour over method. Um, it's a double wall glass. So it keeps your coffee or your tea, whatever hot, um, without making your hands hot. Um, it's so they support clean drinking water projects globally through their partner charity water. So I do love that. Um, and this is dishwasher safe. So that's always a major bonus point for me. Um, and then you do in the box get, um, this little, um, booklet, sorry, I cannot think of the word of exactly how to brew your coffee or brew your tea. Um, so it's very, very easy. It also gives you like little tips and tricks of how to make your coffee um, better and all of that good stuff. So I just really love that. Um, oh, and it says a little bit. So we're on the mission to hydrate the world. We believe clean drinking water is a basic human right. Uh, that's why we're proud to sponsor Charity Water and partner with them in this mission to bring safe drinking water to over 663 million people without access to it. So every time you buy a Soma product, you are helping with that initiative. So that is why I loved this brand. I read that um, when I was like looking up um, more about this brand and I loved that. So definitely cannot go wrong with that. Um, and then if coffee isn't your thing, they do have this cute little sport bottle. It does come in a few other colors, um, same as this. It does come with in other colors. So as you can tell, I really like this green color. Um, so had to go with the green. But uh, the sport bottle um, has a flip top lid. They have a couple of other things um, that are really great as well. So definitely check it out. Some home things. I believe there's like a water kettle. So that way you could heat up your water quickly. And just everything's just so pretty that they make everything's just really beautiful. So I highly recommend checking Soma out if you have not heard of them before. Like I said, um, everything today that I shared was all like new to me brands um, that I discovered here on the Bear Shop. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, I think my favorite thing, though, is the uh, Bruna hat. This is just it's so stinking cute. I think it'll be so easy to wear all spring and summer long. It's going to last me a long time. It's incredibly well made. Um, I love that it just like can fold up really small so I can throw it in my bag or, um, if I'm traveling, put it in my suitcase very, very easily. So definitely, definitely would say this is the standout product for me. Um, just because I, like I said earlier, I do have a two year old, so I spend a lot of time outside. We're constantly outside. Um, so this definitely is the standout product for me of this live stream, but everything that I shared today, I am so impressed with, so in love with. 
Um, so unless you guys have any questions, I know some of you joined a little bit late, so let, but unless any of you have any questions on any of the products, I will let you go enjoy the rest of your, um, what's today? Tuesday. <laughs> uh, it's been a crazy day or crazy week already and it's only Tuesday. So, um, otherwise I will let you guys go. Please, um, feel free to DM me on Instagram. If you do think of any questions, um, the lifestyle archive here and on Instagram, follow me here. If you have not already, I would love to follow you back. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Um, probably next week, same time, same place. So I'll see you guys then have a great rest of your week. Bye.